Well, today marks one month out from the solar eclipse. Meteorologist Sarah Flynn caught up with some experts to talk about the weather prospects of this April event. Sarah? The month of April tends to bring a mixed bag of weather, ranging from storms to the occasional snow, all which could impact viewing the eclipse. But one local group led by our very own Bill Steffen has travel plans that may just bring them closer to clear skies. Occurring once in the world every 18 months on average, a total solar eclipse will move across 13 states on the afternoon of April 8th. It's nature's greatest spectacle. The path width is just over 100 miles, with totality lasting right around four minutes in the center of the path. Here in West Michigan, only a partial eclipse will occur. It will still be a sight to see, but there is one obstacle. If clouds were money, we'd have won the lotto here in West Michigan. <laughs> April showers, or should we say April cloud cover, the last three years have been fairly cloudy on April 8th in Grand Rapids. In 2023, there was 62% sunshine. In 2022, 0% sunshine. And in 2021, 15%. Now I look through uh, the past 30 years or so in Grand Rapids, we only had three out of those 30 days where we had 100% sunshine. With an average sunshine of 50% during April in Grand Rapids, Bill, alongside former Grand Rapids Public Museum Planetarium Director Dave DeBryan, are leading a group of 50 from Grand Rapids to the total solar eclipse. Their destination? Little Rock, Arkansas. Even though it's not the nearest possible location by any means, uh, Indianapolis or Cleveland would be much closer, it made sense to us to make that our point of departure. The further south traveled in the United States, the better chance of a clearer sky. It also provides an ideal escape route, as DeBrian calls it. Interstate 57 parallels the eclipse path and provides easy access to another state. It's spring, it's volatile season of the year, and you may just have to get up and travel 500 miles to get somewhere where the sky is clear. While the forecast certainly does not extend that far out, our three-month probability outlook indicates the likeliness for a wetter-than-normal pattern in portions of the eclipse path. You know, eight days out, we're going to really be looking pretty, pretty hard at what's, uh, what the pattern is and, and which way things are moving. And if you're looking to make those last-minute travel plans, expect hotel prices to be steep and for traffic to be slow. Even with those challenges, Bill and Dave agree, take advantage of this opportunity. Almost all the eclipses that I've ever been in, the sky's been clear, so maybe I'm a good luck charm, I don't know. Okay, so in order to view the eclipse safely, you will need solar eclipse glasses. The Grand Rapids Public Museum is selling them for $1.75 and still have about 5,000 pairs available. We also have a link to build a solar eclipse viewer. That's right now at woodtv.com. And in true Emily fashion, she is modeling them for us. She can't see anything, right? I can see nothing. <laughs> she can see absolutely nothing. Uh, she, mm -hmm. But how do they look? a little bit of Doc Brown from Back to the Future. A <laughs> little bit, a yeah. little bit. But they do block out what's important, the yep. dangerous sun rays, so be sure to get yourself a pair before they sell out. That typically and, happens. And we're laughing, but I mean, it's it's serious and people, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, whenever this happens, people say, oh, you don't look during an eclipse. You never look at the sun. Right, I mean, yeah, that's the never. Kind of, so just never. Yeah. So it's Absolutely. very serious business. Yeah, and I'm hoping uh, that we'll see have some good weather here. I am traveling to Little Rock, uh, following Bill along on his journey during that time. So better chance for sun there, hoping we can get some good shots. And so some great places time. to eat, too. Mm -hmm. so that too. Enjoy. <laughs>